Welcome beautiful Aries. Okay, so we're going to have a look at the next two weeks and see what it is that we can help you with over this time, okay? We'll be using the Mystical Journey Oracle and the Light Seers Tarot and Divine Directions at the end. So we'll see what comes up. I have to say that I loved the last readings um, with the other cards that we used at the end so hopefully these live up to the expectation okay Aries so let's have a look the first card that has jumped out here is rebirth these cards are really new so they are pretty slippery, but I want to give them one more shuffle for you, Aries, and see what jumps out, if anything. Still a bit sticky. Nothing has jumped out. Okay, that's okay. Aries, we'll start with this. Rebirth. Rebirth. There is still some healing that needs to be done, particularly around your heart area. I feel like you've been doing a lot of work, Aries, to piece yourself back together. Okay, um, I do wonder if for some of you there could be a little bit of shame surrounding certain things that have happened for you. Okay, but I want you to know, as you can see here, what this... Um, porcelain person I would say has been pieced back together with is gold here look at this gold and so I feel like as you've gone through the process of of healing that areas you are more precious than what you were before I also feel like you are more delicate than what you were before. Um, yeah, but there's still work around this heart area that needs to be done. Okay. Um, yeah. But, you know, I feel as though, Aries, you are rising up here. I'll just pick that card up. You are rising up for sure. Um goodness me well, it just went flying across the room let me just um well actually not across the room because we are on this side of the room but it, yeah it's hit the wall and gone under the table it's an acrobatic card so I'm not sure what it is yet but I do want to get this other card out first Aries there's this sense of still feeling quite um tearful I would say at times, not always, but at times. So yeah, let me get this card, Aries. Um, really interesting, because when I stopped that video um, or paused it, um, it was on 333. So some of you may have been seeing that for quite a while. Um, or been noticing 333 quite a bit. And we've had the High Priestess fling out here. Okay, and this I feel for you, Aries, especially with the 333 here, is um, you really tuning into your intuition, okay? Listening, listening to the guidance of your angels, of your higher self and your guides, okay? Um, because I feel like with this rebirth here, as you've been putting everything together, you've really come to know yourself much more than what you ever did and um and so working with that intuition Aries is going to help you um build that muscle so that the messages and um, what it is that you need to know comes a very comes through very clearly okay and we also have temperance here and this is all about bringing everything into balance okay and and um, Aries, being really patient with yourself as you do go through 
this final part of this healing because I feel as though this is going to be potentially, I don't want to say hardest, but it's going to be the most challenging part um, as you heal this hole in your heart because for some of you, you've been left feeling very alone and um, I, I feel like areas you've been feeling like that for a really long time and there may not have been anything in particular that caused you to feel like that in the sense of um, maybe not a major event, okay, um, although, yeah, I'm not sure about that. But if there's nothing that springs to mind for you, you know, um, we can feel like that anyway. You know, especially when we are, um, well, let me put it this way, Aries, because I feel like you know how it feels to be in a room full of people and feel like you stick out for like a sore thumb, 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 feeling like you don't fit in. Yeah, standing on the outside of a circle of people who are meant to be your people, but you just do not feel like you fit at all. And um, so this is where this feeling of aloneness can come in. Okay, this emptiness, right? Um, and I want to say that Aries, to be aware of anything that you're doing in your life that takes you away from acknowledging that and healing that, any addictions, anything that you're indulging in as a distraction, okay, it's not serving you, all right? Um, the other, next card that we've had jump out here is self-care. Um, and yeah, look at this, you know, this this waterfall here is coming from these eyes and I feel like this is, this is you know, Part of healing this heart, Aries, okay? And um, because you have done so much work at piecing yourself back together, I feel like this is where it could become challenging for you because, you know, it's sort of like, oh my goodness, how long is this going to go on for? Like, can I just move on already? Why do I have to still be going through this? Okay, um, but the thing is, Aries, that when you heal yourself, fully and completely, I, I, I feel like there's just going to be so much more that opens up for you because there won't be any need for you to protect yourself anymore. So you'll be receptive to a lot of things coming your way um, and it will be easier for you to walk along the path that you're destined to walk along okay so let's just have a look tell me more about self-care for Aries we've got the Knight of Cups has just popped up here and I love this because um, I feel like this is about you know this this guy is suave and he's really you know um, kind of like a charmer um, and it like he's getting ready to take someone out on a date right and I feel like this is sort of how you need to treat yourself you need to treat yourself like you would someone you're trying to impress, you know, and actually give yourself that attention, okay? Because if you don't, you know, you can't give to somebody what you don't have, okay? And that is from within. You can't give somebody the love that you would um, like in your life if you don't have it for yourself. You'll only receive back what you have for yourself Aries so that is a really good indicator um, with people around you whatever it is they're giving back to you is what you feel inside for yourself okay so be aware of that so tell me more about self-care for Aries please one more card for Aries I didn't even I did show you what cards we're using sorry I just forgot then <laughs> um yeah this is, you know, this is showing that there has been progress, but there is still a way to go. I feel like that the heart is going to be quite a large part of this healing journey for you. And um, I feel as though you've 
actually um, there's a, a direction that you've chosen to or a path that you've chosen to walk along and you've begun to walk along it. As you walk along this path, Aries, be aware still of um, what it is that you need to do for yourself, okay? Um, because it's really easy for us to get distracted by other people and um, what it is that they want in life and sometimes we lose ourselves in that. So I would be cautious of that, to be honest with you, okay? For some of you, Aries, um, I feel as though you have met somebody and um, you would like to open your heart to them, uh, but there is still healing that needs to be done. And it doesn't mean that you don't, that you need to sort of push away what's coming towards you, but be cautious, be cautious of not becoming codependent in the sense of hoping that person will heal you when the healing is entirely your responsibility. Okay, this is very important. We have the next card here, which is rising up. Oh, I love this. Absolutely adore this for you, Aries. Rising up. It's kind of like going through the storm and not letting the storm intimidate you and using the power of the storm to help rise you up, right? Because I see here out of her hand is this lightning bolt, okay? And she could be running and dodging the lightning, but she's, no, she's like, no, I'm going to use this lightning to my advantage. And she's using it now as a superpower. And this is the thing, whatever it is that you've been through, um, you can use these tools that you have gained along the way through this journey of your healing is a superpower, yeah? Um, so I, I feel like there's this need to see um, your pain and your sorrow as a gift. And that might seem really odd to some of you. And I'm not necessarily talking about um, any circumstances that have caused that to happen, um, but I'm talking about the healing that you've done and what you've gained along the way. That has been the gift, okay? Because without that, you wouldn't have these tools and these abilities to do what it is you can do. You wouldn't, you know, see the this as the gold that it is that has pieced yourself together. See it as a um as a treasure as a precious metal right you can't get any more precious than gold <laughs> okay so what have we got here two of swords oh interesting okay yeah Aries this is you um feeling a little bit like you're you know caught up in your head here um and not really seeing what it is that um, that you've gained along the way. Um, and it's really interesting because these crows are here um, attacking her, um, but I feel like, like with her hands free here, she could easily just like clear them out the way and protect herself, but she's not. She's allowing them in to attack her, and I feel like this could be with your thoughts here, okay? Um, she could even take the blindfold off and be able to see what's going on, okay? And see where it is that she could take shelter, but she's choosing not to do that, right? So I feel like this is about you understanding that there are ways for you to maneuver your way out of situations um, so that you can rise up out of that storm, okay? And maybe this is something that you have learned to do. And I want to say that go back and look through how you've done the Aries and start giving yourself credit for how far you've come so far, okay? So I just want one more card for rising up. For Aries, please. One more card for rising up for Aries. Four of Swords. 
I love this. This is so cool because it's sort of like they've had these crows attacking you here. And so in all your amazing cleverness, you've gone and sought out their nest while they're out here looking for you and you've taken a little rest in the nest, right? And um, and I I think that's it, it, that just shows you how resourceful you are. Okay, because you know they're not going to be out for a while because they have, um, they're, they're on the hunt, man. They're on the hunt for you. And the last place they think you'll be is at their home. Um, so I think that's brilliant. And, you know, we have the heart here again. And this is you taking this time to protect yourself. And this is what the nest is all about, right? Protecting yourself, um, allowing yourself the time to nurture yourself and do what it is that you need to do to heal. Okay, um, and for you Aries who have met somebody and want to pursue a, a relationship, um, that's okay, just still make sure you're taking the time to do that. And if you're with someone who, who's not allowing you to do that, it's really important for you to question whether that's the right person for you, okay, because the right person will allow you to do that, okay, and they'll support you through that. Okay, they won't do it for you because they know they can't um, if they're emotionally intelligent and mature enough, um, but they will support you. Okay, so yeah, let's have a look. Next card for Aries, please. Next card for Aries. Resilience. Resilience. See, this is how far you've come. You've come through here, through this tunnel. Goodness knows how long this, this tunnel was, right? Um, you've come here, through here and you've come out into the open. Interesting, she's got um, her, her face covered here, her, her mouth covered. Feel like you're moving in silence. Some of you are moving in silence. There's still this need for the armour. You still feel like quite vulnerable and um, but powerful, powerful as well. You know, you've had a long journey. You've, you know, I kind of see this actually as you coming out of the sewers in a sense of, you know, like that's how, how tough it's been for you, you know, um, and... You've sort of had to undo a lot of programming as well. Um, that has been, you know, and this could be at, through your lifetime of different influences. Um, so it's sort of like downloading a new program um, for yourself. And, and this could be what the Two of Swords is about, unraveling all these things, um, going and taking some time for you in the empty nest and coming out and reprogramming yourself okay we have the nine of cups here and i absolutely adore this because this is you heading towards you know fulfilling all of your wishes all your dreams coming true you know and um oh yeah and look we have a little um treasure chest opening here like that's been opened and it's like Ta -da! look where i've arrived at huge difference um here to where you have been Aries and um just just don't forget to do this last part right because I feel like you've made so much progress that it's really easy to just go oh well I'm done now I've done heaps that's enough because sometimes the last bit is the hardest okay and it's like this here sometimes the last cup to gain to get through the to get to the 10 it can be the most difficult. Um, so, you know, it's the most challenging because it's that last leg of the journey. And it's sort of like, how much do you want it, Aries? How much do you want to heal this, you know? Um, and, and by doing that and taking the time to do that, that sort of shows you just how much you value yourself. Okay, so yeah, one more card for, what was that? Resilience. 
resilience. One more card for Aries for resilience, please. Five of Swords. Love it. And a true reflection of what is going on for you. Um, very different from the Nine of Cups, but there's this, there is this sort of, um, how would I say it? Because what, what I'm seeing, Aries, is this line down in the middle and you've got the Nine of Cups here on one side, all your dreams come true, right? Um, wishes fulfilled and all of that kind of thing. And then you've got the Five of Swords. And this is sort of this last cup. This is what it takes to gain this last cup. Okay, and you're being beaten and bruised and defeated um, in some cases. And so it's sort of like, that thing of like, oh, I just can't be bothered. Can't be bothered anymore. Um, I'm happy with my nine. Um, but I feel as though this is all part of it, you know? Sometimes we have to feel defeat defeated. Sometimes we have to feel like we've lost. And... Um, in order to build ourselves up, you know, and this could be the place that you don't want to visit. This could be the thing that needs healing um, that you don't want to look at because it's the hardest. And this is the thing that you've kind of put off and put off and put off because it's like, yeah, deal with that later, deal with that later. But um, prior to doing all the work that you have done, that was huge. It was humongous right and it was too big for you to deal with whereas now it's a lot smaller because you've you know once upon a time this this was all cracked open there wasn't even this small hole here it was it was as though you know everything was into pieces whereas now there's just a small hole so if once you start to work with that you may discover that it's not as daunting as what you once thought it would be because once upon a time it was it was absolutely incredibly it, it wasn't even fathomable that you could even piece it together at that point because all these other bits needed to be pieced together first that all the other bits needed to be healed first before you could get to this last piece okay so give me another card for aries please oh. Manifestation, wow, oh I love this, this is a gorgeous card, manifestation and I'm drawn immediately to the heart down here, look at this, manifestation, I love this, um, and this is sort of like coming out of this energy here, right, of, of what is it that you do want, how can you create that, you know, how can you, because I just wonder if for some of you this has been a, a cycle, where it's happened time and time again um, for you. So this is about you looking at um, how it is that you... Attract a... Oh, not attract. I don't want to use that word. There's, there's a certain vibration that you emanate and, um, and everything in your life is a match to that vibration. Okay, so this is about you really examining what is in your life and how it is that you are a match to that vibration, especially the negative things, but also be very aware of the positive things as well, okay, because the positive things are going to give you a clue as to how to actually have more of that come towards you, okay, so tell me more about manifestation for Aries, please. Tell me more about manifestation for Aries. Gosh, I can't believe like we're 24, nearly 25 minutes in. It's gone so fast. Okay, Aries. Manifestation. Two cards for Aries, please. I think that's two. Yes, it is. Okay, wow. 
Aries. We've got death and rebirth here. And we've got the sun, which I, I am adoring here because right in here is, oh, I think it's a star. But it's bright. It's shining bright, right? And the sun, like, this is incredible. Absolutely incredible. Um, this is putting an end to the things that, you know, like I was talking about before with the, with the um, match of the vibration and the match of the energy and seeing what works for you. Putting to rest all these things that don't, okay? So that this rebirth here can really happen for you so that you can rise up, okay? And, and, and understand that you have the power to create the most amazing life that you could ever imagine, right? It doesn't get any better than this. This is the most positive card in the deck, okay? This is, you know, success and, um, and joy, and fun and happiness yeah and this is what you deserve and this is what you're aiming for so if this is where you want to get that last part of that healing needs to be done Aries so let's have a look here one more card for Aries one card for Aries yeah there we go healing hands oh I love this I love this healing hands Look at this. I love this. I feel as though, Aries, part of me, I actually feel like this is you being there for you. This is you backing yourself. This is you embracing who you truly are. Okay, because look at this, rising up here when we've had this card of, where is it, rising up, right, and this resilience here, okay, imagine how much it would have taken for these hands to break through this concrete or this these rocks, right, um, and it's sort of like, it's sort of like, coming to the conclusion that I could use one hand at a time, but if I use both at a time, there's a lot more power. Okay, and um, yeah, this could also be about you receiving support and allowing other people in to come and help you. Okay, because over this bridge here or, or at the end of this pathway is this, is this, okay, this, this is there waiting for you and it's sort of like you've come up now and here is the representation of this last leg of the journey for you Aries okay to get to where you want to be I am adoring this for you this is incredible so to give me two cards for healing hands for Aries could also be that some of you are healers as well and through um, your journey and what you've learned when I was talking before about you know the things that you've you've gathered along the way to utilize them that you could end up being a healer for others because you've been through it you've walked the journey you've walked the hard yards you know um so yeah this is this would be something that you could definitely put to use series okay and i want to say here especially if you've had um you you're in and you have an addiction or have had an addiction, um, this is something that you could work through to then help other people with their addictions, right? So, yeah, um, we have the tower here, which has is that unexpected everything falling apart. Um, and I feel as though this... This, um, if it hasn't happened already, um, this this is definitely related to this breaking through here. Okay, um, breaking through because it really is, it. okay, yes, yes, I see. So the tower, everything had to fall apart in order for this to rise up. For you to rise up, it couldn't have been done any other way. Okay, um, and... 
we also have the world here. Okay, so this, the, the, the tower, this is the ending of the cycle. Okay, and as you heal and go along your journey and use this for positive Aries, you will absolutely be able to set out on a new path and and um, and change these cycles that may have been repeated, potentially even throughout the generations, okay? So yeah, but let's have a look at our divine directions. Three cards for Aries in relation to this reading, please. Three cards for Aries. Time. Two more cards. One and one more. One more card for Aries, please. There we go. Okay, so Aries. No, that's two. Okay, I'm going to do these two and then we'll get the last one. Time. The universe is helping you look for synchronistic events around you. And this is about you tapping into this intu intuition so that you are aware. The 333 three, three on the time. You know, that could be synchronistic for you. Okay, the next card here is decide. It is time for you to make a decision. Call upon your spirit guides for help. Yes, Aries, yes. Okay, last card for Aries, please. One more. One more card for Aries. Here it is. Positive. Love it. Aries, enjoy this positive time. See, look, we've got the sun here. This is positive. The ending of the cycle, right? The nine of cups. Positive. Love it. Know that everything is going well. Yes, Aries, know that, okay? Even though you're on this last bit, um, just know that it is going well. Okay, Aries, take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.